Hello, I'm uh, Oren Moore with James Runcie, who is the author of this week's play, The Jazz Club Murder. James, tell us a little bit about it. Well, it's a, 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 it's a perfect thing to set it in the 1950s in the jazz club. It's a murder mystery musical with jazz music. And um, it's about a clergyman called Sidney Chambers who finds himself in a jazz club and a murder takes place almost as soon as he arrives. <laughs> and he has to get involved in sorting it all out and finding out who did it by asking perceptive questions, moral questions, rather than perhaps factual questions. So yeah. it's a philosophical murder mystery musical. <laughs> and... Um, Canon Chambers. Yes. You got him on the go. Canon Chambers is part of a, 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 a series of books called The Grouches and Mysteries. And uh, they're aimed to be I aim to make six of them, uh, six books, and I've written three. And so three to go. And there are sort of six books in each. And uh, in the aim for people who are, uh, you know, in work in television, <laughs> six television episodes, please, if you don't mind. So but this is absolutely the first time um, it's been staged or dramatised. So it's a wonderful opportunity to uh, do what Oral Moore does best, which is do things first and really well. <laughs> well that's the idea. And um, you went for the funding. Well, I tried to make it fun. I used to try to be a very serious novelist, and my first novels were you know, attempts to impress, and, and they didn't really work, and so once I started to give up on trying to be Philip Roth, uh, or Ian McEwan on Tolstoy, <laughs> and just wanted to write to entertain, I think if you write to, in an entertaining way, if you try to entertain yourself, there's a chance you might entertain your reader. so the idea is that it's quite tongue-in-cheek, and yeah. the idea is that it's, it's got humour in it, because I think you can have moments that are both funny and tragic simultaneously. Yeah. So the idea is to make something that's rich, where the tone varies all the time, rather than a kind of one-note drama. I'm trying yeah. to make it fun, so mixing music and morality, seriousness with humour, and even a little bit of farce. Yes. I, I'm glad you said tongue-in-cheek, because it did sound really cheap, but it doesn't send it up. It no, you have to walk a careful balance there between not sending it up. I mean, obviously, audiences are aware of things like doubling. So, yeah. uh, a character saying, I can't wait to meet her when she plays the other part, yeah. is automatically yeah. sort of knowing good um, and good fun. You know? yeah. And the idea that somebody can't do a quick change and says she'll be here in a minute. Those kind of things are quite good fun, but you can't. I think there's a difference between um, tongue-in-cheek and self-indulgence. Yeah. And as you know, you must always make sure that the audience are having the fun. We've all seen shows where the actors are having so much fun on stage they yeah. get to share it with the audience. I think it's got to be for the audience, yeah. because that's who are paying. You know, and it's got to be yeah. entertaining. Um, it's got to keep moving. Am I right in saying this is your first play of the stage? Well, it is sort of my first play of the stage. I did write a play. Uh, there's only one copy remaining when I was a student, it was called Nightmares in the Day, and the owner of this copy of this play has threatened to reveal it if I become more famous, because it is officially terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so it's taken me, you know, uh, 30 years to write another play, 30 years to recover. So I'm delighted, this is my first and professional production. And have you seen production. the open today? Could you be tempted again? Well, if you ask me, David. I would try and write another, yes, because it's such a fabulous space and such a great opportunity to do something, particularly because I've been coming here since I think the first season, and when you know the shape of the theatre and what it can do and the type of audience, you can, you can, it, you're amongst friends, and amongst friends you can be yourself, yeah. and that's what this place does. Oh, well, that's nice. Um, I, I must commend you to come and see this work. It's different from anything we've ever done and it adds the marvellous variety of what's on it or more. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, thank you, Jay. It's a pleasure to be here. It's so wonderful to be here.